today I'll tell you a short story about azahetracycles. To begin with, let's break this word into two halves. Aza means nitrogen, whereas heterocycle denotes a ring of atoms. So aza heterocycle means any ring system that has nitrogen as one of its components. Now what's so special about these aza heterocycles? Right from vitamins present in fruits and vegetables, medicines that cure life-threatening diseases like cancer and tuberculosis, <coughs> to agrochemicals that treat plant diseases. Aza heterocycles are ubiquitous. But the question is, how do we obtain them? Well, there are two different ways. We can seek to mother nature for help and extract them from gum, sap, fungi, etc. But nothing is as simple as it sounds. For example, a 5 kilogram gum from a certain specific tree may only yield 5 milligrams of a desired azahetrocycle. And that's definitely not going to suffice to the needs of billions of people on this planet. That's when we have to resort to the second alternative, which requires chemists like me to make these in our labs by cooking chemicals. Now, as you can see on this slide, all these molecules are gigantic and hence making them has been a challenge to the chemistry community for decades. So then, what's the solution? Imagine putting several small pieces together to solve a big jigsaw puzzle. Similarly, in chemistry, we build small fragments like the ones highlighted in red which can be put together with other pieces to finally construct all these gigantic molecules. My research aims at making these and similar other fragments. In my PhD research till now, I have developed three new reactions that can access three different azaheterocyclic frameworks which can now be used to make medicines, agrochemicals, and materials, <laughs> thus leading to a better future. Thank you. So tell us a little more about yourself. OK, so I'm from India. I grew up in a very big city in India, which is called Mumbai. And I pursued my undergrad studies there, came here to do a PhD in chemistry in 2013. Okay. Um, so what first got you re uh, interested in chemistry? Okay, this may sound stupid, but when I was a kid, I always thought chemistry was equivalent to magic because <laughs> when you mix two colorless solutions together, you get a pink color and that really amazed me. And then as I grew up, I was genuinely interested in organic chemistry because I feel in organic chemistry you have the power to create something new, so. Okay. If you could study magic, would you change your uh, <laughs> career? I could do both. Okay, okay. <laughs> Interdisciplinary, that's always good. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're not working, what do you do? It's been a while since I've done something like that, but I like to paint, so okay. I paint. Fantastic. Yeah. How long have you been painting? I think since I was a kid. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you think it has anything to do with mixing the colors together? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> so what do you see yourself doing in five years? I would like to work in a pharmaceutical industry, but at the same time, I don't want to let my passion for teaching just die. So maybe maintain a balance between the two. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much.